In commemoration of World AIDS Day 2017, the Family Planning Association of Trinidad and Tobago hosted a breakfast talk shop titled Talking the Taboo. Government and international agency stakeholders, along with members of the media, were invited to share their perspective on the status of HIV in this country. Dion Batiste has more in this report. Or to sit back and think we've done all that needs to be done to combat the spread of HIV and AIDS. That was the sentiment expressed by President of the Family Planning Association, Professor Rosemary Antwine. She said there's a lot more to be done. There's a certain sense of complacency at this point in time in the struggle in relation to HIV because somehow we think that we've done so much and we've done it all. And yes, we've had some very important gains. If we think about the mother-child uh, transition transmission issue, we've, uh, in some countries, we've actually solved that. In others, we were on the way to doing it. There were calls for students to be included in conversations on sex and sexuality. Vice Chair of the Commonwealth Youth Council, Nikolai Edwards, said we can't continue to shy away from what is widely regarded as taboo subjects. He believes that society at large would benefit from an educated public. Society is the way it is because we have no, we've been shaking our responsibility. When it comes to the schooling system, you have persons there that you can deal with hard-pressed issues. But we're not doing that. We're continuing to bury our heads in the sand. And this is why we have to treat with a lot of the issues that we have uh, burning right now in society. Based on her interactions with young people, Managing Director of LGBTQIA Group, Sharice Pieces, Sharice Berkeley has surmised that our young people don't fully grasp the far-reaching effects of an HIV-AIDS diagnosis. So we have a lot of young people who say, okay, what if I get AIDS? Well, I'll go and get a pill, whatever, whatever, and that's it there. End of story. But we don't stress that, you know, this is going to be the rest of your life and you are going to be responsible for the other people that you have sex with because that's going to be the rest of their lives also. Liaison officer of the United Nations Population Fund, Aurora Ramkisun, commented on policy issues. Noting that the Child Sex Act of 2015 prohibits persons under the age of 18 from having sex, she said this in turn limits the information and subsequent treatment which can be offered to underage persons who engage in sexual activity. And there's mandatory reporting required by the health care provider, the police, parents, any responsible adult who is knowledgeable of the sexual activity. So as a result, there's a barrier there in young people accessing care. They're fearful that they will be reported. And even in terms of the health um, care providers who already have issues of stigma and discrimination. The pervading theme of Friday's talk shop was the need for continued dialogue and the importance of educating the public on HIV and AIDS. There are currently 11,000 people living with HIV AIDS here in Trinidad and Tobago. Statistics show that persons aged 30 to 34 years account for the group presenting with the highest portion of new cases. Dion Batiste, C News.